Hey everybody, this we're talking about an issue that you may encounter when you are using both the Radeon Vega Graphics that's integrated into the Ryzen APUs, for example the Ryzen 7 5700G APU. You're using those alongside an existing graphics card, a discrete graphics card. So for example here we have the Mid-Tower Lux which I had just upgraded from the old Ryzen 7 17RX to the Ryzen 7 5700G for the integrated graphics to use alongside the system's existing Radeon RX 550. However, for example, when you go to select apps to use the integrated graphics, the iGPU graphics, it's not there. The reason is, when you look in Device Manager, there's this weird issue. For example, here we have both of our GPUs. We have the discrete graphics card, the Radeon RX 550, and we have the integrated Radeon graphics as part of the Ryzen APU. And you can see there's a little caution symbol there. And the issue is we are currently experiencing a code 43 where it says Windows has stopped this device because there's reported problems. And the fix is actually quite simple and it's kind of bizarre. So I'm going to show you what to do here. So I'm going to restart the system and we'll go into the UEFI setup utility. Now of course this will vary um, the process of changing this setting in your setup utility will depend on your motherboard's UEFI firmware. They're all a little different. And of course on your system um, it might be delete, might be F2, it depends on the motherboard. Okay so here we are in the UEFI setup utility. And you would think, oh, we need to go into, let's say, advanced and go to graphics settings or whatever. But no. You actually go over to boot. You're looking for your CSM settings or compatibility support module. Now, CSM allows you to boot the system in, let's say, classic MBR mode and not uh, UEFI mode. For example, let's say you want to install an old operating system. I don't know. One is XP <laughs> on something like this. Well, let's say you have a flash drive with something you need to load on your system and it requires the system to treat it like an old-fashioned computer. That's what CSM is for. Now, in the case where we're not needing that functionality, we can turn this off. So we're going to disable that. And we're going to exit the, or save changes and exit the UEFI setup utility. And we'll let the system restart. So one thing that's different right away is now it's only using one or two displays. So it's treating this as the primary and this is the secondary. I did notice this when I um, had just reinstalled Windows on this system. It was treating the right monitor as the primary. I had to go in and change it around. But yeah, that's one thing you'll notice when you turn off CSM. So it's going to get back into Windows. And now, for example, if I go in and pull up Device Manager, we can see now that both our GPUs, this great graphics as well as the iGPU, are functioning. So, anyways, that's a very bizarre kind of issue or a very bizarre kind of fix, but that's how you do it. So, anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.